Okay, I just wanted to show a couple more hair things, again, because I think uh, we've done a lot of production work uh, with hair. We've really driven hair forward a great deal in 3.5, and uh, I'd like to challenge people to take advantage of everything hair can do. I mean, I think there is a, a, much, a much higher level of uh, a work attainable, much higher caliber of work that's attainable with our, the hair tools in 3.5, and I'd, I'd like to challenge people uh, to really push it, to push, push what it's capable of. So if we go in here, and uh, so for some of you, this may be review. You don't, you don't even want to watch this. So I'll get the hair from my selection. I'm going to comb this a negative Y, and I'm going to puff that out a bit, uh, puff the roots a little bit, and I'll scale that down I'll just a little bit. So I've got my light here on this guy. Basically, uh, what I want to do is put a zebra pattern on it. So if I take this guy, and I'm going to go uh, put a texture, property texture, now this property texture map, this is called a texturable parameter. This is not driving the texture on the surface. It's hooking up a texture map to drive particles or to drive hair or something like that. So I'm going to do uh, a cylindrical map on here, and I'll uh, I'll rotate that around and uh, scale it in a little bit. Okay, good enough. This will just give us a rough basis for what we're going to do. Then I can take this hair over here and transfer the map. So if I, I look at this guy, here's my texture Here's my texture map right here. I just select the hair, I click transfer map, and I, prop I propagate the, uh, the projection of that texture on this thing, or the UV coordinates on that thing, onto the hair. So next step, I'll do a little render here. You can see we've just got brown hair. Really simple. Not very coarse at the moment. Now I go in here and I'll look in the uh, in the render tree for the hair, and there's tons of stuff you can drive with textures. Basically, everything you see this little divot or plug socket. This is where you can hook something up. So right here for the diffuse, I'm going to drive that with an image, and the image is going to be my zebra texture, and it's only got one projection, so you can have you can have tons of projections on here. I've only got one at the moment, so it just automatically switches to the right projection because only got one to choose from. So then you can see it went in and it applied started to apply this zebra texture there. So I don't want to get into too much more detail on this, only to say everything can be driven by textures in here. You can drive the frizz, the frequency, the kink, the thickness. You can paint them. You can you know. There's just a lot that can be done, and uh, it goes very deep. It, it, there's been a lot of do work done, so this holds up into production. So, uh, I, again, I encourage everyone uh, to push push this much farther in their projects.